so cfd comprises two diseases one is your chronic bronchitis and another is your emphysema and actually cfd is characterized by abnormal inflammatory response to lungs uh, lungs especially the terminal bronchioles and the alveoli this parts of the lung is affected in case of cfd to noxious particles noxious particles means dust particles and <clears throat> and some toxin and as per example dust fumes bacteria virus all these are noxious particles with progressive irreversible air flow limitation so inflammation causes narrowing of the bronchioles or distension of the alveoli it is a progressive process and it is irreversible in case of bronchial asthma the dyspnea which occurs it is reversible but in case of copd the dyspnea is irreversible and this dyspnea is due to irreversible air flow limitation or obstruction air flow obstruction so copd means chronic obstructive pulmonary disease it is a chronic disease of the lung involving the terminal bronchioles and alveoli due to some noxious substance or particles resulting in irreversible air flow obstruction this is copd <clears throat> now what is chronic bronchitis chronic bronchitis is a variety of copd which is characterized by cough for most of the days for at least three consecutive months for at least two consecutive years duration of cough is very much important in case of chronic bronchitis the duration of cough should be <clears throat> at least two months at least three months in a year for two consecutive years not like that the cop occurs in 2016 and now cop occurs in 2020 it is not chronic bronchitis if cop persist for 2019 and 2020 uh, then it is chronic bronchitis if cop persisted for 3 months in a year for two consecutive years that is chronic bronchitis and now emphysema emphysema is the abnormal dilatation of the alveoli distal to terminal bronchioles accompanied by destruction of the wall without fibrosis in, in case of emphysema the alveoli is affected <coughs> and how affected the alveoli is affected because the terminal bronchioles is narrowed so air cannot escape from the alveoli into the terminal bronchioles air can only enter into the alveoli but not from the alveoli to the bronchioles so the alveoli will be distended and it is the characteristic findings of emphysema so over distension of the alveoli distal to the terminal bronchioles occurs in emphysema now what are the risk factors of cfd first risk factor is tobacco smoke more than 10 pack years pack year means one pack year means 20 cigarettes per day in a year it is called one pack year 
वन पैक यार मीन्स ट्वेंटी सिगारेट्स पर डे तो टेन पैक यार्स मीन्स ट्वेंटी सिगारेट्स पर डे फॉर टेन इयर्स इट इज कॉल्ड टेन पैक इयर्स इफ एनी वन हैव ए हैबिट ऑफ स्मोकिंग विथ टेन पैक इयर्स देन ही विल बी सबल टू सीओ पेडी not all smokers occupation coal workers the workers who work in coal mine they can be suffered from cfpd infection recurrent infection <clears throat> especially uh, in adult life or in adolescent life or in childhood life recurrent infection and can predispose to <clears throat> COPD another one is genetic cause that is alpha 1 and 3 protease deficiency this anti protease <clears throat> is available in the alveoli of the lung antiprotease the function of the antiprotease is to prevent the function of the protease <clears throat> antiprotease and protease protease always breaks the alveoli antiprotease prevents the breakdown of the alveoli but if genetically antiprotease is deficient then we can tell that this is the genetic cause of cfpd and this variety of patient suffers from emphysema in early life so there are four predisposing factors for cfpd one is tobacco smoking second coal worker and third is infection from childhood and adolescent life another is genetic deficiency of antiprotease now what are the pathological change <coughs> that occurs in copd pulmonary change enlargement of the mucus secreting glands in the lung this Uh, mucus secreting glands that is goblet cells goblet cells produces mucus and some inflammatory cell like neutrophil lymphocytes monocytes these are also available in the say lungs and they release some mucus and ultimately there is increased production of the sputum so sputum is nothing but the collection of the mucus with goblet cell and other inflammatory cell and in chronic bronchitis terminal bronchioles is involved i have already told that in chronic bronchitis terminal bronchioles is affected and in emphysema the alveoli is affected due to inflammation there is an increased release of the protease protease in the terminal bronchioles and alveoli and that causes destruction of the protease or collagen tissue or elastic tissue ultimately the expansibility of the alveoli is decreased and the collapsing tendency of the alveoli will be decreased and ultimately the alveoli will be distended and emphysema occurs so this is the basic pathology of your emphysema and chronic bronchitis recurrent episodes of infection of the terminal bronchioles causes fibrosis of the terminal bronchioles and 
closure of the airways, narrowing of the airways, and there will be gas trapping in the alveoli. And so alveoli will be distended. And as a result, the collapsing tendency or lung compliance will be decreased. <clears throat> Hypoxia occurs. Hypoxia causes the pulmonary artery narrowing. Hypoxia causes dilatation of the systemic arterioles, but it causes constriction of the pulmonary artery. And due to pulmonary artery narrowing, there will be pulmonary hypertension. Ultimately, right ventricular hypertrophy will occur. And that is called core pulmonary. And chronic bronchitis or emphysema causes right ventricular hypertrophy. It is called core pulmonary. Now the presentation. Presentation of chronic bronchitis. First is cough. Cough with sputum. And having a history of smoking. And I've already told that 10 backyard smoking is required for production of the chronic bronchitis. And sometimes patients suffer from hemoptysis, that is coughing out of blood. So this is the first presentation of the chronic bronchitis patient. He is more than 40 years. So chronic bronchitis can occur before 40 years. But emphysema uh, always occurs after 40 years. And breathlessness is the first symptom of the emphysema. But in case of chronic bronchitis, the first symptom is chronic uh, cough. And in case of emphysema, the first symptom is breathlessness. So this is the basic difference between the chronic bronchitis and emphysema. Grading of dyspnea. There are five grades of dyspnea. How you can make, make grading of the dyspnea? So if a patient have no breathlessness except heavy exercise like running, jogging, and uh, <clears throat> that indicates zero grade of dyspnea. And grade one, breathlessness occurs during walking upstairs. Breathlessness occurs during walking upstairs. And grade two, walk slower than contemporaries. Shomo Bhaiyashi de Shange Shihatte Parena. Jodi Chesta Kode, they suffer from dyspnea. It is called grade 2 dyspnea. And grade 1 dyspnea, when patient feel breathlessness going moving upstairs or hill. <coughs> grade 3, stop walk after walking 100 years. Actually, Hatte Pode or Hatte Parena. It is grade three and grade four, breathlessness on dressing and undressing, going to toilets, going to dining table, cannot move within the room. It is grade four dyspnea. So uh, when a patient will tell you I have dyspnea, then you should find out which grade of dyspnea patient has and making question in this way. <coughs> So you will make five questions to the patient and you will select the grading of dyspnea. Pitting edema. Pitting edema usually occurs in right, art, right ventricular failure and that occurs in core pulmonary. And if a patient has got a pink face, being puppy face that indicates patient is suffering from polycythemia and usually polycythemia occurs in emphysema. So a patient of COPD 
you can detect by looking at the face whether the patient is a pink face with dyspnea that indicates emphysema and if the patient has have cyanosis or blue discoloration of the face and dyspnea that indicates patient is suffering from chronic bronchitis so pink puffer is a character of polycythemia or blue blotter is a character of chronic bronchitis cyanosis cyanosis can occur in chronic bronchitis with type 2 respiratory failure so if a patient has chronic bronchitis having cyanosis that indicates type 2 respiratory failure chest examination on inspection respiratory rate will be increased and there will be intercostal recession recession in bangladesh got to the the trips in maje depressed way it is called recession palpation reduced expansion of the chest chest expansion is reduced <laughs> area of liver dullness is decreased lung become hyper inflated so it covers covers the liver so area of liver dullness is reduced and area of cardiac dullness also reduced on auscultation breath sound vesicular with prolonged expiration and there may be presence of bronchi and capitation this is the findings of emphysema and chronic bronchitis now investigation chest x ray in emphysema you will get translucent lung shadow blackening of the lung tissue due to entrapment of the air it is called translucent lung field tubular heart heart shadow will be reduced tubular low flood diaphragm normally diaphragm in the sixth space but if it is lowered down to seventh and eighth space then it is called low flood diaphragm widening of the intercostal space intercostal space will be white and occasionally you will get presence of bulla bulla means air sac air sac in bulla there will be hypertransfusion lung field with very thin wall but no lung tissue in the bulla and full blood count will be you will get polycythemia that is increase rbc and increase hemoglobin level in spirometry if apb1 is more than 80% then it is mild cpd and in moderate cpd it is less than 80 in severe less than 50 and very severe it is less than 30 or 25 the mild more than 80 percent and less than 80 percent moderate less than 50 percent severe less than 20 percent very severe there are the fraud grading of cpd false oximetry usually Uh, oxygen saturation is reduced now treatment the purpose of treatment to reduce the symptoms reduce exacerbation and improve health and in general measures 
smoking suggestion so general measures smoking suggestion which will improve APB1 oxygen therapy indication of oxygen therapy oxygen therapy pressure pressure of oxygen and 60 less than 60 millimeter of mercury it's wrongly rated if there is pulmonary hypertension if there is edema then daily two liters oxygen should be given two liters per minute oxygen should be given 15 hours in a day two liters per minute two liters per minute 15 hours per day sometimes it is asked why hypo oxygen is not given in case of COPD because hypo oxygen can cause respiratory arrest that is why it is not given <clears throat> plan of treatment plan of treatment if patient supports from mild COPD, then sulbutamol or theophylline can be given. If moderate, then with sulbutamol, we can give long-acting uh, beta-2 agonist, that is sulmeterol and ipratopium. These two drugs can be ad added with sulbutamol. And severe corticosteroid in alert should be given and in very severe then long-term oxygen therapy should be given so treatment is very easy mild sulbutamol moderate sulbutamol with sulmeterol and if bromide very uh, severe then steroid very severe then oxygen so the very simple treatment so i think this is the end of today's class and to mother buste kono oshubidha hoyse hello 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 Hello, 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 hello. Yes, sir. Hello, I'm Hello, Class bus the Hello, yes, sir. Sir, network problem এখন শুনতে পাও এখন শুনতে পাচ্ছ ওদের নাকি নেটে প্রবলেম 
आज के राखी हेलो सो वी शुड स्टॉप हियर आई होप एंड प्रे टू ऑल माय डी गॉड फॉर योर हेल्दी लाइफ थैंक यू एक ख्याल रखे तो बेपर टेक तार पड़ो जो नॉइज़ ऑन थी लो कि बेर पारणो जाए तो तो शायद कथा बोलता ये वाला क्या ना